So this interview is about that um six nine is going to die either this year or next year because he's making an interview. You feel me? And every rapper that make an interview like this and let shit be known and all that shit, they usually end up dying. So he want people to see this and know the truth before he die. You see what I'm saying? Because he know it's coming. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, he just want everybody to know the truth before he died. So everybody know what happened and why it happened. And, you know, who would be the reason. And if he do die, who would it been or, and all this other shit. But every every rapper done did something great before he died. Nipsey Hussle done did um, all of this stuff. I ain't really follow Nipsey like that. But he done did all this good stuff, had his store, clothing lines and all that shit, the marathon. Um, he was going to do the documentary of uh, Dr. Shabby. Um, Pop Smoke, he did a couple of interviews. Um, he done said some shit like, yeah, like, when they talk about Pop Smoke, I want them to know that uh, they... That you could do whatever you want to do. I mean, shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. You feel me? Um, that pop smoke changed the world. I mean, but it'll always be like that. Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant, motherfucking, um, what he do? He made that movie. I think he made a documentary, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me. I think he made a documentary uh, and then he had made this movie. He did all this great stuff before he died. It's like people always do documentaries or interviews or some type of shit. Like kind of like talking about death or something that's going to happen or, you know, oh yeah, I want people to remember me as this. Like they always be like, oh, I want people to remember me as this, the, 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 um, when I die so people can see this. And I think in the industry, they always say that because they know something bad about to happen. Just like, I don't think that bad will happen to me. But I know what they'll be going. So, you know, I made all this YouTube and interviews. This YouTube and, and uh, fucking videos. So I can see this 10 years from now. Um, people can see this and they can be like, oh yeah, that's how he used to talk and that's how he looked. And you feel me? Right now, what is it? It's September 11th. That's crazy. It's 9-11 and I'm saying this shit. I mean, I'm in a bathroom smoking and not supposed to be smoking. I'm in a halfway house. It really is a TC uh, community program. Excuse me. In Harlem. So... I mean, this shit is crazy, bro. Yeah. I mean, I definitely don't condone what he did and all that shit. And I I don't respect it, but, you know, nigga did what he felt like he had to do best. And, you know, that nigga, he did wrong, though, because he know what the niggas is doing. He paid niggas to do all that shit. And he did leave out that Chief Keep shit with the hotel and all that, cool to be and all that shit. So he left out a lot of shit. But he, the fights that they had and all that shit, like he, he, like, he just did the part like, oh yeah, this is why I did it, and, and this is that. But you ain't really talk about all the shit that you was doing, that you was planning, and you was giving niggas money and, and doing all this shit and doing all this bad stuff. And then when you was doing all this bad stuff to all these people, you thought none of this bad stuff was going to happen back to you. If you get people shot at, you're going to get shot at. If you get people robbed, you're going to get robbed. If you snitch on niggas, niggas probably nine times out of ten will snitch on you. You feel me? 
That's just how shit go. So, shit crazy, bro.